I have here my Night Fighter BT40S with the four stock XPG2 neutral white emitters. And I'm planning to replace those with four of the brand new Nichia 219Cs. Let's go ahead and get this open. I'm going to use my uh, snap ring pliers very carefully on this front bezel. If I can get it in there. There, there we go. Once I get it loose, I can probably uh, just spin it off by hand. Then I need to carefully get this optic out of here. I'm just going to carefully pry around. Looks like it might pull the whole emitter board up, but that's okay. There we go. Now we have the uh, BT40 emitter board. Take note of where your plus and minus emitter wires are so that you get them back in the right place. Otherwise you'll have a big boo-boo. So there are the four stock XPG2s. Okay, we're going to attempt to desolder these emitter wires coming from the driver. As you can see, they're a nice thick gauge. Um, you'll notice I ripped the dome off one of my other XPG2s accidentally trying to hold it by hand. So I've gone to using this uh, helping hand to hold the emitter board. Tough. I, oh, geez. Okay, now we got it off. They are usually not that hard to get off. Here we go on the positive lead. This is quite hot on my fingers. Okay, let's try not to hit. Oh, look, I look like I must have bumped that down. This is. Right. Success. So there we are, the bare emitter board removed from the light. Okay, I've got my bare emitter board on my helping hands, and I've got my Harbor Freight heat gun. I guess you can see that there. I think I paid about nine bucks for that on sale or with a coupon, whatever. And I'm now going to switch it on to low, heat up the bottom side of the board until I start to see the solder turn to liquid and the emitters will just become loose for me to pull off with my tweezers. So let's see how this goes.
as you can see, that's not difficult at all. Now I'm going to take a look at these pads, make sure they have enough solder on them to accept the nachias, and it looks like they do. Okay, I'm going to take these nachias, and there is a cathode mark at the one corner of the emitter. And on this BT40S emitter board, these black dots uh, are at the corner opposite of where the XPG2 cathode mark was. So I'm going to place these nachias, carefully align them over the, the pads, and carefully try to center them up. Hopefully you have steady hands to do this. Being very careful to get these aligned correctly. Another thing we need to remember after we get everything soldered down is to check for shorts. At least check across your uh, positive and negative where those leads come in from the driver and make sure there's no short there. Now if these emitter pads didn't have enough solder on them, I would just put a little bit on. Okay, this one. Okay. I'm trying not to be a perfectionist here, but that's tough. Okay, I should be ready to apply heat, and I'll be looking for them to suddenly float and sink down. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to put it on low. Here we are with our Nichia 219Cs on the emitter board, and we are going to apply heat on low. Watching for the solder to liquefy and the LEDs to sink. You can stop as soon as you see the solder start to bubble up. Now I don't want to bump anything, and I want to let these cool off and lock into place. Of course you're going to be careful because this emitter board is really going to be hot. So just let that baby sit there and cool off. Uh, the emitters look very square with those square outlines. So I'm pretty happy how that turned out. So let's let that, let that cool a while. Okay, I've got my multimeter here and I'm set to 200 ohms and I'm going to do some uh, checks for shorts. Uh, I should not show any continuity 
Well, let's go across, across the uh, LED driver connections. I've got nothing across that way. Let's just go in reverse. Nope, good. Um, now I'm going to place one on the bottom contact of the emitter board and touch each pad. Nothing on the positive, nothing on the negative. Oh, and I should have showed that, yeah, test the meter. Yeah, wires are good, meters good. So it looks like we're good. It looks like we're ready to clean the thermal paste off of the emitter board. and clean the, uh, the thermal compound, I mean, off the emitter board and the light. So I'm going to take a, just a Q-tip and alcohol. Now let's take that out there. And I'm just going to wash away, scrub off the old stuff. There's the, uh, the light body. Now I, had, I believe I put in new thermal compound when I opened this light up for my review months ago. And as you can see, it kind of dried up. So I'd rather just go ahead and put fresh new stuff in there while we have it apart. Okay. Uh, we would now be ready to add thermal paste onto the back of our emitter board and place it on, resolder our wires. I'm going to cut my video short here because I'm going to be pulling that driver out uh, to have a look at it and uh, see what it's going to be like to possibly increase current. Thank you for watching my video.